Hello students, welcome to your channel. Please like, share and subscribe your own channel, School Studies. School Studies is pleased to announce the launch of our educational website, Patel section. After years of hard work and dedication, we are delighted to officially announce the launch. Today we will see a video related to NCRT solution for class 9 mathematics, chapter 4, linear equations in two variables. Exercise 4.3. So let's solve textbook exercise. The first question is draw the graph of each of the following linear equations in two variables. So x plus y equals to 4. To draw a graph of linear equation in two variables, let us find out the points to plot. To find out the points, we have to find the values which x and y can have so satisfying the equation. Here x plus y equals to 4. Substitute substituting the values of x if we put 0 in the equation we will get y as 4 if we put x as 4 then y is 0 so x we have taken 0 so y is 4 and if we have taken 4 as an x and so y is 0 so this is the graph a straight line Next, we have to we have equation x minus y equals to 2. So first we will plot the, find out the points which we have to plot. So for that we have to find the values of x and y. So x minus y equals to 2. We will substitute the values of x here. If we put x equals to 0 in the equation then the y is minus 2. And if we put x equals to 2 then y is 0. So this is the graph points plotted are 0, minus 2 and 2, 0. Next is y equals to 3x. To draw the graph, first we have to find the points of x and y. So first we will find the values of x and y. Here y equals to 3x, we will substitute the values of x in the equation. So if we put x equals to 0, then y is 0. If we put x equals to 1, the y is 3. So the graph is like this. The point, pointed, uh, plotted points are 0, 0 and 1, 3. Next, 3 equals to 2x plus y. To draw the graph of linear equations in two variables, first we have to find the points. So we will put the values of x and y and we will find the values. So equation is 3 equals to 2x plus y. We will substitute the value of x in the equation. So if we take x equals to 0 in the and put in the equation, then we will get y equals to 3. If we take x equals to 1 and we will put in the equation and we will get y equals to 1. So, x0, y3, x1, y1. So, the plotted points are 0, 3 and 1, 1. So, this is the graph. Next, second question is give the equations of two lines passing through 214. How many more such lines are there and why? We know that infinite numbers of lines passes through a point. Equation of two lines passing through 214 should be in such a way that it satisfies the point. Let the equation be 7x equals to y. 7x minus y equals to 0. When x is 2, y is 14. So, if we take LHS and RHS, then it is 0, it is equal. Let another equation be 4x equals to 5 minus 6. So, 4x minus y plus 6 equals to 0. If we take x equals to 2, y is 14. Then if we solve it, the answer is 0, 0. That means LHS and RHS are equal. Since the both the equation satisfies the point 214, then say that the equation of two lines passing through 214 are 7x minus y and 4x equals to y minus 6. We know that infinite number of lines passes through one specific point. Since there is only one point 214 here, there can be infinite lines that passes through the point. Next, if the point 3, 4 lies on the graph of the equation 3y equals to ax plus 7, find the value of a. 
So the equation is 3y equals to ax plus 7. According to the question x is 4 and x is 3 and y is 4. We will substitute the value in the equation and we will get a equals to 5 upon 3. So the value of a is 5 upon 3. Next, the taxi fare in a city is as follows. For the first kilometer, the fare is rupees 8 and for the subsequent distance, it is rupees 5 per kilometer. Taking the distance covered as x kilometer and total fare as rupees y, write a linear equation of for this information and draw its graph. So, the total distance is given that is x, total fare is y. Fare for the first kilometer is 8, km, 8 per kilometer. Where after the first kilometer is rupees 5 per kilometer. If x is the total distance, then the distance after 1 kilometer is x minus 1 kilometer. That is fare after the first kilometer is 5 x minus 1. According to the question, the total fare equals to fare of first kilometer plus fare after the first kilometer. So y equals to 8 plus y 5 x minus 1. If you open the bracket, the sum equation is at 8 plus 5x minus 5. If we solve it, 8 minus 5, that is 3. So, 5x plus 3 is y. Solving the equation, if we put x equals to 0, then y is 3. If we put y equals to 0, then x is minus 3 upon 5. So, to plot the points 0, 3 and minus 3 upon 5, 0, the equation graph is like this. Next, from the choices given below, choose the equation whose graphs are given in figure 4.6 and figure 4.7. So, for figure 4.6, y is a, y equals to x, x plus y equals to 0, y equals to 2x, 2 plus 3y equals to 7x. So, the points given in the figure 4.6 are 0, 0, minus 1, 1, 1, minus 1. Substitute the value of x and y from these points in the equations. We get y equals to x. So, it is 0, 0. Minus 1, 1 is not there. It is not satisfied the equation. 1 minus 1 also not satisfied the equation. Second equation is x plus y equals to 0, 0, 0, 0 plus 0 is 0. So, it is satisfied the equation. Minus 1, 1 is also satisfied the equation. 1 minus 1 also satisfies the equation. y equals to 2x. So, 0, 0 satisfies the equation. Minus 1, 1 not, uh, equation not satisfied. 1 minus 1 also equation not satisfied. Third, fourth question is uh, 2 plus 3y equals to 7x. So, 0, 0 satisfy uh, not satisfy the equation minus 1 1 also not satisfy the equation 1 minus 1 also not satisfy the equation since only equation x plus y equals to 0 satisfy all the points the equation whose graphs are given in figure 4.6 is x plus y equals to 0 for figure 4.7 y equals to x plus 2 y equals to x minus 2 y equals to minus x plus 2 x plus 2y equals to 6. This is the graph of 4.7. The points given in the graph are 0, 2, 2, 0, 1, minus 1, 3. We will substitute the values of x and y in the given equations. So, first equation is y equals to x plus 2. So, first we will take 0, 2, 0, 2 here, 0, 2 satisfy the equation. 2, 0, not satisfy the equation. Minus 1, 3, not satisfy the equation. Next is y equals to x minus 2. For 0, 2, not satisfy the equation. 2, 0, satisfy the equation. Minus 1, 3, not satisfied. Next equation is y equals to minus x plus 2. 0, 2, satisfied. 2, 0, satisfied. Minus 3. 3, minus 1, 3, satisfied. x plus 2y equals to 6. 0, 2, not satisfied. 2, 0, not satisfied. Minus 1, 3, not satisfied. Since only equation y equals to minus x plus 2 satisfy all the points, the equation whose graphs are given in figure 4.7 is y equals to minus x plus 2. Next, if the work done by a body on application of a con, con, uh, con Sorry, 
contest force is directly proportional to the distance travelled by the body. Express this in the form of an equation in two variables and draw the graph of the same by taking the contest force as uh, unit, 5 units. Also read from the graph the work done when the distance travelled by the body is 2 units and 0 unit. Let the distance travelled by the body be x, the force applied on the body be y. It is given that the force done by the body is directly proportional to the distance travelled by the body. So according to the question y proportional to x. So y equals to 5x, 5 is the con constant of proportionality. Solving the equation, if we take x equals to 2 units, the answer is 210. If we take x equals to 0 unit, the answer is 0, 0. The points to be plotted are 2, 10 and 0, 0. So this is the graph which we have plotted the points. Next, Yamini and Fatima, two students of class 9th of a school, together contributed rupees 100 towards the Prime Minister's relief fund to help the earthquake victims. Write a linear equation which satisfied this data. You may take this contribution as rupees x and rupees y. Draw the graph of the same. So let Yamini's donation be rupees x and Fatima's donation be rupees y. According to the question x plus y equals to 100. We know that when we take x equals to 0, y is 100. If we take x equals to 50, y is 50. If we take x equals to 100, y is 0. So the points to be plotted are 0, 100, 50, 50, 100, 0. So this is the graph, this is the line we get. Next, in a country like USA and Canada, temperature is measured in Fahrenheit, whereas in countries like India, it is me measured in Celsius. Here is a linear equation that converts Fahrenheit to Celsius. So F equals to 9 upon 5C plus 232. Draw the graph of linear equation above using Celsius for x-axis and Fahrenheit for y-axis. If the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, what is the temperature in Fahrenheit? If the temperature is 95 degrees Fahrenheit, what is the temperature in Celsius? If the temperature is 0 degrees Celsius, what is the temperature in Fahrenheit? And if the temperature is 0 degrees Fahrenheit, what is the temperature in Celsius? Is there a temperature which is numerically the same in both Fahrenheit and Celsius? If yes, find it. So these are the questions which we have to find in this. So first is according to the question f equals to 9 upon 5 c plus 32. Solving the equation if we take c equals to 0 f equals to 32. If we take c equals to 0 then f is 32. If we take c equals to minus 10 f is 14. So the points to be plotted are 0 32 minus 10 14. So this is the graph of the first Next, when C is 30, the F will be 86 degree Fahrenheit. When F is 95, the C will be 35 degree Celsius. When C is 0, F will be 32 degree Fahrenheit. If F is 0, then the C will be minus 17.8 degree Celsius. When F equals to C, so uh, C equals to 9 upon 5 C plus 32, C minus 9 upon 5 C equals to 32. 5 minus 9 C upon 5 equals to 32. That is minus 40 degrees Celsius. So minus 40 is the temperature which is numerically same in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. So this was exercise 4.3 of NCIT solution for class 9th. Mathematics. I hope you like my video. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you. Please leave comment, question or doubts in comment section if you have any or you can drop a mail to us. You will find my email ID at the end of this video. You can also join us on Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, connect us on LinkedIn or tweet us on Twitter. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you.